Uh, caught it here on opening day of crab season, Pacifica Pier in Pacifica. Uh, I'm gonna steam it and have a nice little butter sauce. For the Corona. Yeah. It's opening season on the California coast and the crabs are running. Please join me to learn all about the Pacifica Fishing Pier. Welcome to Pacifica Currents. I'm your host, Edie Havermel. We'll be talking about the Pacifica Fishing Pier. I have two guests tonight, Anna Booth. Welcome, Anna. Thank you. It's great to be here. Great. She's the president of POPS, which is Preserve Our Pier Supporters. And Jean Johnston. Welcome, Jean. Thank you. She is the community service representative of POPS. Our show tonight will be talking about the history of the pier, about crabbing season, about uh, the local shops that are around the pier, about upcoming events on the pier, and pops. Anna, can you tell me how you got involved with the Pacifica Fishing Pier? Yes, well, I grew up in the Midwest, the Plain States, and they called it that because it was very plain, flatlands with not much water and no ocean. So you can imagine how excited I was when I came to Pacifica. We have mountains and ocean and a beautiful pier to see Pacifica at its best. Jean, how did you get involved with the pier? Well, I'm <clears throat> from Southern California and I moved up here and I had a mobile home overlooking the water. And when the pier started to be built and I was interested in that, and then I became a member of the park, beach and recreation and the pier was one of my assignments and they had this great big machine that walked and the front legs and the hind legs would pick up and they used that to the construction of the pier clear to the end of the pier. And that was so unusual that the media picked it up throughout the whole world. Well, the pier was built in 1973 and officially it's the Reverend Herschel Harkins Memorial Pier because he was the minister of the Little Brown Church at that time and they named it in his honor but really we just call it the Pacifica Pier. It's over a hundred yards long, longer than a football field and it is the only open ocean fishing pier in Northern California, not in a cay, uh, cove and not in the bay but out there in the deep water where the fish are. And it is considered the best fishing pier in California because of our wonderful salmon season in the summer and the crab season, which we're doing right now. It had its first series of repairs in 1992 with a lot of help from the Wildlife Preservation Board. And then we have another series of repairs that began in 2000 and we're working on that now. Um, the pier grew in popularity. We have done a survey where we found that over 200,000 people a year visit the pier and they spend six million dollars, believe it or not, on restaurants, on motels, groceries, gasoline, and they come to see the pier. Uh, I met a number of families from Sacramento and the valley where it's dry and there's not much water and they come to the pier because it's a real dream to fish in, in the ocean uh, and there is no charge for parking and they don't need a fishing permit and uh, it's just a wonderful experience for them. Many of them come four or five weekends a year. It's their home away from home and uh, so the pier has grown in popularity through the years and it's now one of our leading tourist attractions and also a landmark. If you are uh, coming down the coast in a boat and you see the pier, you know you're in Pacifica. Anna, can you tell us about POPs? Yes, well POPs began in the year 2000. We're celebrating our 10 year anniversary and at that time 
The city moved the water treatment plant, which was across the street from the pier south to Rockaway, and the pier, which was built to support an outflow for the water treatment plant, lost its place in the city budget. There was no money to repair the pier, and we knew we needed to get grants to do that. So uh, we talked with Jackie Spear after one of her community meetings here. Jackie is a fisherwoman and a real supporter of the pier, and she said, you know, it would be a good idea if we had a grassroots citizens organization to help the city promote the pier and get grants to make these repairs that we need. And so uh, our first group of officers, I've been there for 10 years. Andy Pappas, our Crab King, is our vice president. Uh, Cheryl Jimno, who had the bait shop on the pier, was our first secretary treasurer. And when that moved to Palmetto, Kathleen Manning, who is also working with the Little Brown Church, became our secretary treasurer. And then Jean joined us in, uh, in the spring. And uh, began then a series of grants for the pier. Uh, Jackie came that summer in, in a segment that Channel 26 filmed in which she made a presentation of this first grant and then followed a, a over a million dollars in grants in which we repaired the bottom of the deck which really needed help, uh, the foundation and the remodel of the what is now the Chit Chat Cafe, and two piles, the sh protective covers over the two front piles of the pier to protect them from the winds and the waves. Jean, can you tell us about crab season? Oh, you bet. That's the biggest thing. You know what? The opening day of crab season, there were over 500 people on the pier. Imagine that. And then in the next 18 days, I counted, there were over 2,300 people just walking on the pier and almost 2,000 people fishing on the pier. We're very fortunate to have our crab king, Andy Pappas, and he's on the pier almost every day. Hi there, my name is Andy Pappas, known as the Crab King of the Pacifica Pier. What a place to go and have a great time, yet old or young. This is where I clean all my crab, right here. It's easy, it doesn't smell up the house. My neighbors come running when they see me back here. Man, we used to do that every morning, me and my nephew Jim. Every morning we'd leave there about 7.30, 6.30 in the morning. And they would always say, there goes the Crab King. They did it again today. This will make you laugh. My wife said, if I go fishing one more time, she'll leave me. Boy, am I sure going to miss her. <laughs> you know that today is opening day, and I'm going to call my friend Bernard to find the scoop of how much the crabs are biting today. No? Hey, hi, Bernard. How you doing today? Many people, man, it's crowded. it's crowded. Are other people getting crabs also? But, uh, there are some, but uh, if you get lucky, you get some. But uh, if you have no luck, no luck. <laughs> yeah. When are you going to come over here? You I'm going to be there tomorrow early, Bernard, and I hope to see you. Don't forget to tell everybody to support Pops, preserve our pier. OK, bye. Take care. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay, bye. Oh! Yeah. Why do they call me Andy the Crab King? Well, I'll tell you, folks. I catch more crab than anybody on the pier, and it's a lot of fun. I'm not bragging. It's just a good thing, and I don't take it serious. But I do like to be called Andy the Crab King. I just got here in the pier early in the morning, about 7 o'clock. And there's too many people crowded everywhere here. But my first cast, I got a big one, uh, nearly seven inches. And the second one, six and a half. And then the other, third one is six and three quarters. It's a nice day today. So what you got to do right here, get yourself a crab net, anything. You got also some snares that you can see on people's ends of the poles. What you do is you take a little bit of uh, good bunch of chum goodness and stuff, put it in your little chum pot, put it in the little net on the bottom. Opens right up a little. We got some chicken, we got some uh, squid, some uh, anchovies. End up taking this pot, and when it sits down, it lays flat. And then the crab will come and start eating on that. And then as soon as you, you know, you just start pulling it up. But uh, we'll just throw it down here in the water. And uh, let it sit for about, like, you know, about 15, 20 minutes or something. Enough to drink a beer or something. Have a little sandwich. 
the male has a more narrow point, narrow, and then the female comes up and around and then to a point. The 80s. The 80s was like this, always packed. You don't see it anymore. You know, hey, look at it. You know, everybody out here, opening day, crabs. I got uh, my brother-in-law, my sisters, four sisters over here, and uh, uh, look at that, shoulder to shoulder. Beautiful. <laughs> got here about 6.30. First time. First time. Oh, yeah, back from your side here. Merced, Stockton, Manteca, Lathrop. Got the whole family out here today. So I'm ready to catch some crabs. I'm gonna I'm 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 knock them out. I'm gonna knock them out. Let's go! Yeah, and uh, congratulations to the All Giants fans. Let's go! Yeah! Uh, I caught a, a male about almost six inches. Does that mean you gotta throw it back? No, it means you gotta keep it. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, that's yeah. a good thing. Yeah, that's a good thing. Yes. So, yes. how do you cook your crab? Uh, boil it, season it up. A little lemon and vinegar and the spices and it's all good. Okay. Or we do it the Nor New Orleans style gumbo. <laughs> yeah, gumbo. Gumbo and garlic crab are favorite. Yes. <laughs> there you go. What is wrong with these people? We're just lucky we were here for probably an hour and a half. And then we haven't gotten anything for the past two hours, so I think we were lucky. <laughs> wow. Drop it. If you break the crab, we're gonna have to buy him a whole crab. It's the rules. Here. Get a TV. The Pacific Coast. Go first. See, Grandpa's open you. Hi. You wanna see a guy catch a crab? Yes. Right over here, look. It's a keeper. Nice. It's a keeper. <laughs> Um, I caught this around uh, 4 o'clock this morning, right when I got here, and uh, it's about seven and a half inches. I've been here all day. There's so many people, I haven't even caught one yet. Can you believe that? I can get it way out there, and I still can't get one. I guess I'm going to catch them later. That big. Oh, yeah. So where are you all from? Uh, Southern California, but we've been living in the Bay Area for a few years. Uh, we're from Palo Alto, and uh, we're going to do a crab boil. Uh, you put the crabs in a big pot, you put a bunch of salt in, uh, Old Bay seasoning, and uh, cook it for like 20 minutes. We, we drove all the way from Sacramento to get five crabs. And no luck! We uh, prepare uh, olive oil, olive oil, garlic, and uh, things like that. It's uh, delicious. We love it, especially at Christmas time. We love to have a crab anytime, really. And we don't catch any fish, but we enjoy the weather, and it's so beautiful. There we are. Try one more time. Crab season's here, that's it. Everybody out here to do their thing, you know, have a good time, enjoy themselves. What more do you want, you know? Five and three quarters or bigger.